Hello, this video is for anyone who is experiencing the same sort of issues that I was setting up the Electro, Electro 5 inch Raspberry Pi touch screen display where uh, for the most part um, you know this this section here was all black uh, we were pretty much operating on a 4 by 3 uh, format which is you know from here to here or so and uh, basically a, a semi-usable screen it still worked fine uh, the touch works fine but um, I want to use the entire display so the purpose of, of this Pi project is to run Pi hole which I can link in the description for a uh, whole home ad blocking uh, now I will start off with a couple things that are in my opinion essential one is uh, desktop preferences so if you right click on the desktop and you go to properties you will get a uh, window that looks like this and I'm going to go to desktop icons and I prefer to have documents and settings as well as connected volumes so essentially if you have a USB key or external drive uh, connected it'll show up on the desktop just for ease of use on uh, on a screen this small it's, it's kind of handy to have everything right in front of you uh, the second thing I would recommend to everyone is uh, changing the default default password and to do that you can type passwd in terminal um, it will prompt you for the uh, the current default password and then you can check uh, or you can you can um, change it to whatever you'd like something more secure because otherwise you are open to pretty much anyone if uh, if you're not utilizing a firewall with that being said, um, I will sort of dig right in. I almost forgot to include um, instructions how to download the drivers since downloading the, uh, the drivers from the disk are pretty much useless. Uh, so what we want to do is sudo apt get install x input calibrator. Whoop. There we go. So I will, uh, I'll post this in the comments as well. Uh, now I already have this downloaded, so it's, uh, it's not going to do it twice. However, um, if you, uh, if you run that command, you will get uh, a few updates and it might take a moment or two to actually initialize and download. Now there's a, a common issue I, I sort of came across, um, quite a bit when I was Googling why things weren't quite working. Um, if we go to documents, scroll down to the root directory and then go to boot and config. Uh, this config file, if you try to make any changes, will give you an error message that basically says, are you sure? Can't open write to file. So doing this through the GUI simply does not uh, does not work unless you of course enable uh, uh, suit, uh, you, you run thing as root but uh, an easier way to do things is simply uh, sudo nano boot config.txt and this is our uh, display config file now a, a basic working knowledge of Linux is 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 uh, helpful here but uh, the commands are essentially on the uh, on the bottom now I will post this uh, config text file to the comments as well because it seems to be working just fine and I will give credit to uh, user Isle pilot on Amazon uh, for sort of laying the groundwork for this there's there's a, a single spelling mistake with the resolution however everything else pretty much works uh, very very well uh, now as far as um, getting the drivers, uh, a lot of these screens will come with a disk. Uh, I, like others, have bricked the Pi for mm, it, it, probably three or four attempts before I said, you know what, something's qu not quite right here. Now to edit this, uh, this file, uh, you will copy the file in the description and then paste it in here. Um, that's fairly easy to do. Just, I guess, select everything and uh, write over it. Uh, make sure you keep it back above this just in case you're, uh, you're unsure, you have a different setup. Uh, but essentially, once you have that pasted, you can hit uh, write out, which is command O, or sorry, control O on the Mac keyboard, depends what you're using. Yes, we want to write the boot config.txt file, done. 
Now we're going to hit Command X, which will uh, exit right here, and that'll bring us back here. So now we want to reboot. Oops. That'll reboot, and the new settings will be taking effect, and you should see um, the entire screen being utilized. Now you will have to uh, adjust the um, the over scan settings. Uh, but this essentially gets the entire screen to be working. And I will put paste uh, with the settings that I'm currently using. So if you're using the same hardware and uh, same versions, uh, you should have no problems. That's everything for this video. Hopefully that saves you a lot more time than it took me to, to get this far.